Say hello to a brand new GMC Yukon, complete with a new independent rear suspension and AT4 trim. Now, of course, you can get the fancy pants Denali, but you all know that I love dirt machines, so I wanted to stick primarily with this AT4. Of course, there's not too much difference on the AT4 here. There's meteor tires, of course. There's a skid plate over the transfer case, and the AT4 has also got a different front fascia that contributes to the overall approach angle of 32 degrees. However, the two-speed transfer case, the head-up display, and even the option of magnetic ride control or air suspension, that's available on both rigs. And if you opt for that air suspension, you'll be able to raise the truck about two inches in four low, or it can hunker down when you're loading. Power plant options include a 6.2 liter V8, good for 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, or you can get a 5.3 liter V8. However, the cool news is there is a new 3 liter inline 6 diesel, good for 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Regardless of what power plant you choose, it all gets down to the pavement through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Now, the Yukon is bigger for 2021. It's going to give you more space inside for both people and cargo. And GMC says that the new independent rear suspension will offer a smoother ride. Now, I've only been in the truck for about five minutes, so I really can't say one way or the other. So I'm going to reserve judgment until I get some more time with it. The Denali does have its own very specific interior, but both trucks have a power center console that can slide back to reveal a little hidden cubby compartment underneath there. And I do love my hidden cubbies. Now, I've said it before, the AT4 subbrand is not really about hardcore off-roading. It's more about getting you through some bad weather or making sure that your family can get to the ski slopes safely and securely. We've got no word on pricing yet, but the 2021 GMC Yukon will be available next summer.